Olympics, they just represent someone going after a dream. I'm Lolo Jones and I run the 100 meter hurdles for USA Track and Field. When I'm at home training, I wake up. When I wake up, <laughs> I don't have early practice, so as long as I roll out of bed by 12. Reasons. Pumpkin seeds are the secret. The main reason why I live and train in Louisiana is because the weather is just absolutely perfect to train here and the support I receive here from LSU. All right, this is our tower of Louisiana seafood. The two things I like about New Orleans, probably the food, I really love seafood and then also whenever I want to just relax, let my hair down and just not think about track, I like to just go there and walk around and people watch and look at the artwork down there. So I just really do love it down here. The stadium is called Death Valley. And I always tell people, I was like, it's not named Death Valley for the football team, it's named Death Valley for all the track people who have gone there and just died at the top. I'm about to have my hardest workout of the year. This is the first year I've actually just decided to train with all guys. So the first part of my season, I'm with the men's LSU track and field team. When I start spiking up and hurdling, I'll actually run with other female hurdlers. I think people relate to Olympic athletes just because they have dreams as well. The odds may look against them and they have to work hard or they may get roadblocks. They may not make, like I didn't make my first Olympic team, they may not get it at first. When something stops you or somebody tells you you can't do anything, when you overcome that obstacle, it's such a just huge adrenaline rush and just a boost of confidence. I feel like it's a huge honor to, to go and represent my country, Team USA, because I'm carrying their burdens as well. You know, they're cheering for me and they're looking at us and it's a huge honor. When the, the starter says, runners take your mark, it actually, you're in the eye of the storm at that point and you've done it so many times. It's the, the most peaceful, beautiful moment because you have all this energy and everything you work for is just all built up and you're just ready just for it to be released. Our sport is so individual. I'm running for myself, but when you go to the Olympics, you're no longer running for yourself. You're running for, you know, team track and field, USA track and field, but you're also running for all those back home. Four hours a day, pretty much every day, for the last 12 years, for a 12 second race. I mean, that's the amount of work that, that goes into it. I remember crossing the line in Beijing and I was like, I wish the next Olympics were tomorrow, and it's like, they're right there. I love it. <laughs>